Hi, Jan. Thank you for allowing me to record this session today. Hi, Melissa. Great to see you. Great to see you. Great to see you. So I'm just wondering what you need to let go of or what you want to clear before we get started today. I know that I was sort of rushing in and <laughs> I'd like to take a moment my own self. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, you know, I think just some breaths to be present um, and to be here. Um, trying to get my feet on the ground just to, you know, get myself in my body. And uh, yeah, I think, yeah, a couple mm. of minutes and, and then I think we're good. Great. Mm. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Well, as we get started today, I'm sort of curious what you're bringing that that we'd like to spend some time on today. You know, I'm in transition, um, and so I I would really love to get some clarity and around um, what moving forward, uh, what I truly want um, mm -hmm. in the in the what's next of this transition. And, and I think probably a little of, um, of being able to close a chapter on what was, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so in my mind, I kind of see this as a book that there's a, there's a chapter and it's just about closed, but it's not quite there. Uh, uh, and when I open up the book, it sort of opens to that page. I'd really, I'd really like to be thinking what's, what's next, um, mm -hmm. what chapters haven't I read yet. Hmm. So what chapters haven't I read yet? Are you reading them or are you writing them or something else with them? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, hmm. I certainly feel, and I think it's some of the reality of just of thinking I'm writing them, right? I, I get to write this. And I think historically I have felt like things have sort of shown up and um, and not necessarily taken a lot of ownership of like, well, I made that happen or I went looking for that or I wrote that, right? Mm -hmm. I think once they show up, then I know I have, I have some uh, ability in that space or some, you know, that, that really that I own that. But I think looking ahead, um, I still trust that things, things show up because uh, that's just been my career path. Mm -hmm. to, in big ways. Um, but I also want to be thinking more of like, and I can also really impact or influence that um, with how I'm thinking or what I'm even open toward, you know, or open to or uh, allowing kind of even into my dream space. Mm -hmm. So it's a balance because I think my trust in my trust in that there are some things um, that I can read. And probably more than ever, there are things that then I will write. Mm. That makes sense. Well, I I might mm means oh that's that's kind of, that it's a both and in there. Um, mm. So what's happening for you as you unpack it just a little bit? You know, I I think it feels like an up and down, um, and sometimes that up and down is within minutes. <laughs> sometimes it's within hours, and. You know, the up is a little of excitement about what could be and what might be. Um, and the down is uh, some grief and sadness about what was. And, and I mean, you know, I'm in a career transition. And um, after more than a decade of, of not being in that space. And, and so I get, you know, it, and I will do this because that's what it feels like. Oh, it, it's this, and then it rolls, and then it rolls, mm -hmm. and um, and the emotional toll of that is, I, you know, I, it's exhausting, quite honestly. Um, and I also want to shift as much energy that I'm spending looking at at the last ten years. Um, I'd like to take a good portion of that energy and push it to what you know, what might be the next 10 years. So just right here, as you and I are together, I'm noticing a couple of catches in your voice and um, a 
can feel sort of deep emotion in my own self as I'm listening to you. It almost feels like a grief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that word feels right. That word feels right. So as you check in with you, you're all of you, not just what you think, mm -hmm. what's going on for you. I think as I talk, I physically can feel that my breath is short. Mm. Um, I sort of internally feel, I don't know that I can quite suss it out if it's, uh, if it's anxiety, mm. if it's, if it's a little excitement, mm. it's uh, some freedom. Um, and, and, and I think the anxiety is also, um, in, you know, the uncertainty, just the uncertainty. Yeah. Um, and I, and it's important to me to also allow that space that is sad and is grieving mm -hmm. to really allow that to be there. And I don't know that in my life, <laughs> previously in my life, I would have had maybe as much, uh, maybe clarity of just like, there's this grief process. And um, I don't want to, right. I don't want to be complete, you know, completely kind of enveloped in it, but I also don't want to only, you know, I don't want to push that aside and just say, I'm, I'm just all right. I'm all about going ahead. It sounds like there's a both and in there of um, feeling the grief and acknowledging what was and embracing the insight, excitement and um, I don't know what, hoping for what's next or something. It feels mm -hmm. like there's both of those at the same time almost. Yeah, absolutely. And um, that's a good way of thinking about it. I, I, I think in the midst of either kind of, and I will say my thinking tends to be either or, right? I'm either in this space or in this mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. And I think the, you know, the and thinking is like, I can be both of them and I can walk, I can walk with both of them present. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm trying to learn how to do that. Um, the, the dreaming and envisioning what might be next is probably not a muscle I have as developed <laughs> as mm -hmm. I'd like. So the, the weird comfort, maybe comfort, maybe isn't the right word, but mm -hmm. familiarity, maybe familiarity. Yeah. Um, with, you know, being looking back or like just being very much in this moment. Mm -hmm. That's a, that, that's when I'm, yeah, I'm more familiar with that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm aware that it's harder for me to, uh, to be, to dream, right. To really think about what even could be without getting into too much of a, like, well, how would that happen? And how am I going to do that? And mm -hmm. kind of moving into the very, yeah. the practical. The yeah. 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 So, so far, you started sort of with a bigger picture of you're in transition, and there's that, that book that opens to the last couple of pages of the last chapter, rather than either the place between chapters or someplace in the new chapter. So there's a metaphor there. Mm -hmm. You talked also about opening yourself to what's possible in terms of reading or um, reading what's there or responding to what comes in front of you or writing. And now we're in a place of more from an emotional perspective. How does it feel? What's your experience of the old and the new together? So that, that feels like um, a bigger picture that has a lot of components in it. Recognizing that we have some time today to continue talking more globally like this or to work on some aspect that if you got some clarity around it as you stated in the beginning it would it might move you forward some what is it that you would like you and me to spend time on today i think on the dreaming of of exploring what not necessarily what's next, but what do I want? And it may not be it's um, specific as it's 
it's this job or it's this role or it's yeah. this work yeah. as although I will say, you know, my head is, is very much in, in kind of the work career space. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think I'd like to spend some time exploring that a bit of what, what might, a what might a dream state, so to speak, mm -hmm. you know, what, what might that hold for me or what would I like it to hold? Um, so it's about, is it about the content of the dream? Like what's the dream look like? Or is it about the process of the dream? You had, you had said that you're more familiar with being here present and looking back, but not so much looking forward. Is it the content or the process? Hmm. I have to think about how to maybe separate those. I think the content is where I first go. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what I'm aware of is that that content is what I already know. <laughs> so, um, so for instance, right. In, in terms of what do I want to do professionally next? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I can take what, right. What I've known and just go, well, it's going to be that, but it's going to be in the future, right. I'm going to mm -hmm. do these same things. And, well, and maybe it's also, uh, and not that part, and right. maybe not that part, but yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, the so there's there's that element of I think the content. I think from a process side is how do I expand that? How can I think beyond what I already know, mm -hmm. <laughs> like what I already deeply know from from doing right or yeah. from from experiencing that? And so if I stay with the content, right? There's a there's a real comfort there. I I know what that feels like. I know I can see myself doing these things. I right. And I, I think, again, there's real value in going, and like you said, not that, right? Mm -hmm. It's to pull these two or three things forward, but I'm not going to pull those forward. Um, and what am I not even, what's not contained in in what was or what happened that might actually be the, feel like a spark, feel like, mm -hmm. oh, that, yeah, maybe that. Um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm helping you out here in terms of like where where can we zero in because they it it uh, they're both so tied in together for me. Mm -hmm. So what are you discovering even as you're saying it aloud? Um, it, interesting to think about that differently. Like content of process, I wouldn't have put, I wouldn't have thought of it in that way. Um, I also, I think just saying out, like saying, oh yeah, the content is what I already know. Um, I hadn't, I don't think I'd thought about that. Mm -hmm. um, it gives me some, I mean, I think the feeling that I'm having is, oh yeah, that's where the comfort is. Mm -hmm. And the process, <clears throat> the process or thinking beyond what that is, is scary to me. Mm -hmm. Like I, I feel myself like, oh, that feels unsure or uncertain or risky or maybe unknown. Um, and yet part of me feels like, but that's where it is, right? That's that's the place um, that I have an opportunity to explore. Um, I think if I go, let me jump ahead and, you know, a year from now and look back, what would I hope I had taken this time to do? And right now, as I sit here, I think my, I would hope that I would have explored beyond my comfort, beyond what I already know. So what are you wanting right now here with me? I think the what could be, right? What could be, and maybe it's, maybe it's what do I want? And, and maybe it is, what do I want emotionally next? Um, what do I want for my life? rather than uh, and is it in that place of that you what you already know or what you don't know is it more in the content you know the content you don't know the process that you don't know I think it's probably what I don't know um you know, I've been thinking about you know, so what have I liked right so that a little bit of that like what would I pull forward so before we before yeah. we go there 
it sounds my hunch is that you know how to do what you know how to do and you know how to think about it the way you know how to think about it that's where we just went so we could spend our time having you talk about what you already know but a moment ago you said i want to spend time on what i don't know so do you really want to spend time on what you don't know right now or do you really want to report what you do know Yeah, I think I do want to spend time on what I don't know. Um, is that does that seem something that we can do together? I mean, is sure. that yeah. sure yeah. we could, sure we could. And how does that get you further to what you further toward your goal for this session, what you wanted at the beginning? It's the push toward the next, right? It's the, it, to me, it's the it's the what are what could be the next chapters? It's a little choose your own adventure kind of a book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what might cool. those choose your own chapters be, and and in the safety of being able to talk about it or think about it, but not make a decision about it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And how does that then relate to the pages that aren't quite finished? I think it's the shift in energy. I think in in terms of. I think I have to have something that I'm I'm exploring or I'm engaging with so that that energy is happening there that allows this to sort of um, start to sort of slow, uh, quiet down or, mm. or fade away or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, I don't know. Does that make sense? It does make sense. You know, as I listen to you, it's sort of that you can sort of keep reliving the last couple of pages. And if there's something else capturing your attention, that energy is around what's captured your attention more so than about the reliving. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When I say it back to you using my words, what goes on for you? I think the transfer of energy that, that sits with me mm -hmm. is, um, you know, I just think about that balancing and that if, if, you know, if, if this is going to become more of this, I, I have to, I have to purposely put some, right, like more energy here than, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so this, this is energy? I would say energy, I think of energy kind of like it's just this, it's a wave or it's a, mm -hmm. you know, sort of this, I'm not, uh, what I describe it, um, maybe, yeah, maybe, in, and it's in balance. Right. And okay. I think it flows like this, right? Flows yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I'm probably more in terms of like what what's getting my most of my energy right now is probably more like, hey, the the looking back is probably a wave up here. Mm -hmm. And when there's a shift, the, the looking forward is only about this big. <laughs> and and so it's sort of like this, right? It's not in balance. And I think in order to get this wave to be more in balance or to even be the the higher side. Yeah. Um, I have to be purposeful about shifting toward that. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Yeah. It's helpful to see, your, helpful to see you do that as well. But yeah, it's, I think I, I just think about, you know, when there's always motion and mm -hmm. I know that and I, right. And I can manage that. Um, so I'd like, how yeah. crazy do you want to get today? We've got another 10, 15 minutes left. How crazy do you want to get today? How big do you want that wave to be on this, on the next, what's next side, just today? Doesn't yeah. have to last forever. Where is it now? And where do you want it to be today? You know, I'd say that it's a, it's a little out, uh, less than what, mm -hmm. right, kind of the energy to, to the last chapters. Yeah. I could even get to say, oh no, they're truly like it's balanced. So I can, mm -hmm. I can have this experience and, and feel the grief, um, and you know, and the thoughts that come with that. Mm -hmm. And it isn't all encompassing. And I can, right? I can move between these, yeah, pretty easily, and without too much depth or time. Um, you know, I just think of like kind of the energy suck, like the energy yeah. suck is, is not going yeah. all sort of, because it does feel like it's, 
it keeps because there's only so much energy. Right, exactly. It's a contained yeah. system. So if it's all being used here, there's nothing left over here. So yeah, I get that. I think okay. even to be able to get to balance yeah. would would feel like progress. Yeah. Um and and know, you know, and being able to recognize when when I have a decision, when I can make a decision to get it back. Mm -hmm. I think right now, sometimes it's happening. I feel like it's happening to me and, you know, it's like, uh, now I'm back. All right. And yeah. I've, and that might be because there's external voices calling me back. Uh, internally, it's calling me back, but that I, I'd like to have us more of a sense of like control. Like I, I can, I, let me recognize so that I can choose if I'm going to spend my energy there right now. Mm -hmm. And maybe the times I will. Right. Um, right. And maybe the energy is about, you know, like, Hey, if this was about sort of sadness of relationships lost or right, just mm -hmm. those working kind of day in and day out, I'll, I welcome that. But the anger and kind of the resentment of like lo loss of being in a comfortable space and, a, yeah. you know, that I don't, I don't want that to have, mm -hmm want that to I don't want to give any more energy to that mm -hmm. um, and and to be conscious of hey there's differences there and when can I kind of call myself back yeah yeah so as I hear you talking so that you have that choice that you can as you said before not get rid of the grief but live through it and not have it just as you said, take over and have it doing to you rather than you being choiceful. So yeah. there's another place to go potentially. And I think that's part of the shift. I mean, you know, as you're saying that, I think the shift to I'm writing the book, right? I'm oh, writing the next yeah. chapter. Yeah. Um, I think that idea that that's where, that's where my control lies. Mm -hmm. Um the you know the what what happened it feels like a really powerful place yeah actually. yeah um because i think it rebuilds for me it's a little bit about it rebuilds trust in both myself as well as mm -hmm. you know the larger you know if you say like the universe or whatever it might be that was got got broken a bit um in in kind of this in the departure from from where i was mm -hmm. um the trust of you know, to, to be able to trust myself, to mm -hmm. say, you know, I, I am in a place that I can maybe, you know, I can, I can have some more control over this. Mm -hmm. And, and that might be, you know, just place in life. It might be age. It might be experience or just, it may be both even, you know, not just for me, but in my relationship, we're kind of at the space where we've earned it. You know, to, yeah. Right. To, right. If not now, right. what, what are we waiting for to be able right. to be have a bit more control over it. Right. Yeah. And knowing things will happen well outside of our scope of control, thankfully, that will influence and, mm -hmm. and the opportunities forward. Um, but I think I, I I don't want to be passive. I don't want to be passive in this process. And I can feel the, you know, I think when we talked about like, is it is it what you knew, you know, what what you've already known and done and you bring that, that to me feels a little bit like, well, that's a little passive because it doesn't take a ton of energy from me or, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. discomfort. <laughs> and I know I need, I know for myself, I need to be in that space that feels a little uncertain and a little uncomfortable right now. Yeah. So there's a right now, which is right now in your life. And there's a right now in this room with you and me. Are you interested in giving it a go for a few minutes, just trying to step in to that place of unknown and take a look around and see what's there. Yeah, I'd like, I'd love that. Even as I say that, I invite you to sort of go into you rather than into your head, just go into all of your beautiful jamness. I can so, see that, I, I, feel like, I feel like I have to drop my shoulders. Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. and, and what is that? shifted for you by dropping your shoulders. I think it brings me back to here. Mm -hmm. 
um, it's a little check of the anxiety of not knowing. Mm -hmm. And is it bearable right now? The anxiety of not knowing? Yeah. Yep. I can manage it. Mm -hmm. That shifts. Say something. Okay. We'll do something different. Yeah. What, what other things did you have to adjust in order to just step into this for a moment? Hmm. I, I think, you know, physically, I definitely just feel that the breath. Mm -hmm. And is it different mm -hmm. than it was before? Yep. Yep. What's the felt quality now? It's better. I would say it's still a little. So interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, I can, I can feel, I feel it still in my body. I feel more awareness of it. Um, I don't think I realized that I was starting to sort of mm -hmm. get, um, carry it in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and and as we go forward for the next few moments, where do you want your breath to be? Do you want, is, it, is, it, is it is it is it is it it is what it is, or are you wanting to shift it even more in some way intentionally? I think having an awareness of it mm -hmm. and, and checking that from, you know, just sort of continuing to check that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like I need to ground it more than, than where it is. Something tells me like, well, it's telling me something that, that's mm -hmm. important for me to probably pay attention to in that. Um, what is like, what, what's the anxiety if that's what it, it feels a little bit like that. Um, what comes into my mind is that I trust you and I trust this space and that I can sort of breathe into that, um, which helps me be here rather than the anxiety of like, I don't know where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the good news is we get to co-create where we're going. Yeah. So with sort of shoulders down and a little bit deeper breath. Well, how do you want to take that first step into the unknown to just see what could be there? How do you want to do that? I think what's the... I don't know if I have the right words, but what's the, what's the mindset that feels future? Like what, mm. what feels exciting for where I want my mind to kind of be settling into a little bit? Uh -huh. um, so yeah. if I ask you that question, as you're how you are or want to be you know what what is that mindset and maybe you don't need words about it what's that mm -hmm. feeling it could be a sensation it could be a color it could be a sound or an image or a metaphor so that you don't have to have words about it. What comes into my mind is warmth. Okay, warmth. So just let's just stay with warmth for just a moment. Warmth. And where is that warmth? Is it outside of you? Is it inside of you? Is it in certain parts? Where is that warmth? Yeah. It feels circular in nature. Mm -hmm. So the warmth feels, um, I think it's probably more surrounding than internal. Mm -hmm. um, all of you or some parts of you? I think all of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's all of me. 
Um, it's a little of I want I think I want that. I want I want to be in a space or in and whatever right. um in a future. Right. That is either generating or existing mm -hmm. of of warmth and in, in my mind that's warmth in relationship mm -hmm. to others. Mm -hmm. Um you know that a little of like uh, a little exhale mm -hmm. <laughs> with an edge of not sort of status quo, like not, uh, but I, I think the seeking is of something that is about I wish I could get better. I wish I could get better words around it. I, um, you know, I know I'm doing this. Keeping right? this image, this, that, like that yeah. spherical. It sounds looks like it's a spherical image. Yeah. That surrounds you and and somehow touches others mm -hmm. relationally. And you said with a little bit of an edge. And is the edge on that sphere, or is the edge something different? I think the edge is on the sphere. Mm. Um, you know, if I was picturing a circle, I'd say then there's a little valve. Mm, yeah, <laughs> that sort of is bringing in, bringing in new and letting things out. Mm. Uh, so I guess it's, it's a two way valve, right? Yeah. Two way valve. Um, yeah. So so that's. Um, Maybe that, maybe that's, maybe the edge isn't the word. Maybe it's, there's energy flowing in and out. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes that might be a little different temperature, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it's not freezing cold, right? It's, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not like, oh, really shocking. It's, yeah. it's a little tempered, mm -hmm. but it's different. Mm -hmm. um, which I think feels a little like it's, um, there's life to it. There's, mm. there's energy to it. But it being the circle. Yeah. 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 That there's that the, um, the in and out and the circle itself has got some fluidity to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And it is the fluidity that I, I think I want is that there's, there's movement and there's flow in it. Um, and the circle adapts and moves and changes. And if that's, you know, either uh, I say it it it's dynamic and it's fluid, but the warmth can remain. Like that's oh. the, that's the factor that stays consistent. The warmth um, stays consistent, and it, the and there's still that exchange. Yeah. yeah. What's in that for you that's new? I think I think what's new for me is I'm the consistent factor in this. Oh. Um in what way? And that the fluidity is happening, um, but I don't see myself moving in and out of it necessarily. Oh. Um, it it makes me reflect on like okay what what that has been is that I think I I move in and out of lots of spaces. And in my presence might be a consistent factor, but it's not always right. It's not always sort of there. It um, so this feels like I think the fluidity feels like drawing in mm -hmm. and letting go, and drawing in and letting go. And in that 
in that you, in yeah. that warmth of you. Both for me and as I think about a circle of people or a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, Drawing in and letting go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In and letting go. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a... There's like a intensity and a relief from the intensity and intensity, mm. the intensity, but the intensity doesn't feel, um, feels it, that feels positive. doesn't have a negative implication. Mm -hmm. It was like, there's a intensity and then there's rest. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the, term. there's intensity and rest. Intensity yet, and rest. yet another flow, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Too yeah, much exactly. rest to the neglect of intensity or too much intensity to the neglect of rest. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, that's right. That's the connection. So in that place of future and recognizing, I mean, the beauty of images is that. Um, there's so much detail that you can see, even if there's not explanation mm -hmm. about it all. Mm -hmm. It sounds like there's an image, uh, right, a, a draft image of an aspect of what's next. And it sounded like as you were talking, there's a comparison to what was, what perhaps that image was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think the was was a lot of intensity mm. and not enough, right? Not enough rest. Um, and I, you know, and I think in a process of of realizing that, hey, I need that, but I want that. I want that. And I and I want that. I love that intensity. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um I love preparing. I love being in it. I love the, right. The coming down from it. And then I also love the, like, I just, right. It's rest and it's, mm -hmm. um, refuel or recenter or, or center for the next, whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, but I think I've learned that about myself too, is, is that there's roles I've been in that don't so necessarily allow for that or work that way. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And times in my life when that was just fine. That was just fine that I had a lot of, you know, a lot of room for the intensity and I didn't need a lot of this or I didn't recognize the need. Future feels like very much who I am today. Um, that feels more reflective yeah. of who I am today, of, yeah. of that balance. Yeah. Yeah. My mm -hmm. hunch is that um, in some ways you'll keep this image in you for a little while and there'll be more to mine from it, to gain from um, sitting with it, you know, or getting rid of it and replacing it with something else. You know, there's a whole gamut there. Um, we'll be closing this uh, time in a few moments. Um, before we do that, I am just sort of curious to, interested to go to the, sort of the next higher level to say, you came in in a particular way and you're finishing in a particular way. So what what is different for you now compared to where you came in or how you came in? Oh. I feel, uh, I think if we go kind of back to like, where is my currently, where my energy is, I think it's more toward next. Mm. Um, I have clarity about where in a different way of, so what did I just say, right? What did I just draw out? What's the image? Mm -hmm. And, and so what, what does that mean for then what I want to be exploring more? Mm -hmm. And I have some clarity that I mean, around, right. A particular opportunity that's sitting in front of me right now. And mm. I wouldn't have made that connection. Um, but to think of it of like, it's still it, right? It's the balance of energy. It's the balance. Yeah. And 
the balance of energy in the new right in the new picture yeah. and and that i'm and that i do i'm at a point where i guess i i mean i do i feel like i have a i have some control over that because i understand myself a bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i but come back to like well, am i writing the next chapter maybe mm -hmm. i am <laughs> or drawing it or drawing it yeah yeah exactly yeah well, maybe it's like decoupage or a collage or who knows what <laughs> yeah if i write it in pencil or pen we'll see that's, that's right. right yeah yeah I, I feel that that's there is a there's a there's a clarity piece there that came forward for me yeah so what do you want to do with that just even as you sit here just to remind yourself so it's not just sort of get up and walk away and it evaporates. How, what do you want to do next with this? I want to draw it out. Um, I, I think I want to I want to sketch that and sort of put to it. Um, well, some of the things, right? Some of mm -hmm. what came forward, and then what else is that making me think of? Mm -hmm. uh, but the image, I, I need to draw it. Like I can feel that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why I continue to do like this? <laughs> <laughs> Get those markers somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you know, I think that just the the picture um, feels like something I I want to hold mm -hmm. and um, is clear for me right at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and may serve you in a variety of different ways. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for that. That I. Um, yeah, I just appreciate having having that have show up. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So as we finish today, I um I guess I I wonder what did you learn about you that you that might be new or that's confirmed? I, I wouldn't have described myself as somebody who has uh, is has imagery like has a visual or like mm -hmm. that that's a how I think or mm -hmm. um I tend to be I, you know I tend to think of myself like I'm drawing the lines mm. <laughs> or I'm writing the words so that's new uh, and it feels great I mean that felt good to to be able to put some words to it and then hold that image mm -hmm. so that's a new way for me to even think about how I think, um, yeah. yeah, that that's new, and I and feels. I, I feel I, I'm happy to know that. I think mm -hmm. and to be able to now pull that and see how that can continue my continue to help yeah. me. Yeah, nobody's handing that to you. <laughs> you get to draw that and write that all by yourself. I think it's the I think it's the Herald and the purple crayon moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Harold. <laughs> well, it has been my um, honor to do this work with you today, Jan. Thank you so much for bringing yourself so fully and like stepping into maybe some of the uncomfortable parts and the comfortable parts and, and uh, you know, being exactly who you are in this moment mm -hmm. and, um, and sharing your story. And I just feel such I feel gratitude and um, just a real heartfelt connection. Thank you. I, uh, I thank you for creating that that safety right in the space. Um, uh, I just, yeah, I so appreciate the time, Melissa. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Is there anything else that you want to say before we finish today? I think I just have to grab my paper, you know, my notebook. <laughs> Start right. Great. See you soon. Okay. Bye bye.